Hi, it's Gaz here from Moth Couture. It's been a while. Um, I've had to ease up on stuff in the workshop for a bit because I had some actual jobs to be doing. Uh, one of which wasn't a top priority. I just needed to do it for a bit of fun. I bought a little ride on Lomo for like, it was like a hundred quid or something. And uh, it's part of, what do they call it? Like repair, spares or repairs. And I got it. Um, I'm not a mechanic, but I like having a go at things as I've already gobbed off about a few times. The engine had compression, i.e. you could take the spark plug out, so it wasn't sealed, and you could turn the flywheel, which would move the piston up and down. I was just happy with that. So then I started fault finding, worked my way back. Um, the battery was dead, so I bought a battery charger, charged the battery up, um, seemed to be working okay. Shit battery, like, needs to be replaced, but it would hold the charge enough to start it and at least try and get it firing. Found there was no spark in the spark plug, took the spark plug out, give it a good old clean, Still no spark, bought a new spark plug, put it on, uh, still no spark. Took the magneto off, give that a good clean, all the surfaces, put it back on. Um, it was working. Put the spark plug back in, it uh, wasn't working. Uh, a load of the wiring had been altered by its previous owner or previous owner from there. I think they're about 20 year old, these things. Um, but it, it was like a bird's nest of wires. So this connected load of wires, got the old fluke out and started working my way through this uh, bird's nest of uh, wires managed to get it connected up put the spark plug back on it fired um it just wouldn't keep going so it would start and then it would die so the battery was an issue died a couple of times so we ended up doing a bump start yesterday plugged it into the car battery with the car running connecting the jump leads to this like the little lawnmower and um managed to get it going turned and uh, it stayed firing it stayed running to the point where i got my grass cut um, still a big mound of earth there that we need to shift but had a right laugh yesterday driving around for about an hour uh, around the back and the front um, cutting the grass on my little ride on looked like a friggin idiot like, like six foot two on this little cart but yeah it was cool wanted to get around the front and the back get it all chopped nice and neat and it was fun I'll certainly be cutting the grass a lot more often than when I had to push it around but today's jobs, back with this, right? So around the front here of the house, we we're gonna put a picket fence. And the reason we we're gonna go with the picket fence option was because of cost, really, it would look pretty, this and the other. But what we would really want is more green. Um, we live in a lane around the front of a garden. We've got like a wall, and then above it, we've got a hedge, which needs trimming. But what we really wanted around here was a hedge. And the type of hedges we like is them like sort of, um, Get what they call them but they're effectively like a box hedge you can grow them in make like a nice shape and then trim them and the, they're normally pretty expensive they're normally like sort of a, i don't know anywhere between like six quid and a ten or a bush we manage to find a place near where we live a nursery um where sold little plants we we'll managed to get them there like sort of range between sort of eight eight inches tall and a foot they're really small but we managed to get them for like a couple of quid each, which is brilliant. So back to the original plan. We're going to plant um, hedges all the way along the front above the wall, right? And in time, they'll grow to a nice shape when we trim them. But the job for today, as you can see here, is where I'll hold you on that side. The wall comes up here, right? Uh, carries on all the way up, like from the garden. And for some reason, it kind of like obviously I can tell there's a telegraph pole there, I'm not stupid, but for some reason the the kind of like the way that it's cut in is about a meter and a bit away from the telegraph pole. Doesn't make sense to me. Like on this side of the telegraph pole, you can see the wall comes down, the original wall, all the way down to here, and then you can see it starts moving back. So it's kind of like a um, little archway. On this side, it carries on, stays right behind, all the way along, all the way along and then juts out here. So the job for today is this friggin' couple of hundred year old wall. I'm gonna smash out this section here. Uh, chisel it all out, got my hammers and my chisels there on the top. Chisel all this out, take all the bloody ivory and stuff off it, clean it all up, put a new base down there. I've got some concrete, use the original bricks or some massive bricks on the top here, clearly big slabs. Put them down at the bottom and then tomorrow, start building the wall back up using this side as my sort of um, guide so ultimately the arch will go in and it'll come out here which I think will look a lot more um, 
real, true, correct, whatever the other word is you want to use. Um, nice little arch behind there and then kind of run straight along here. Then it'll give with a good base to put the bushes in and the, and the sort of border, you know. Enough for today about a waffle. Nothing really about moth creature, just kind of keeping you in the loop about how I'm passing my day. Right, till next time, take care, bye.